First of all, congrats. You just got, you got engaged. I did. It's hey, so exciting. Yeah. Thank you. I feel good. She's beautiful. She is. I met your fiance backstage. Uh, how, did, how did you do it? How did you propose? Um, well, of course, any good surprise starts out with a lot of lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, and so we totally trying to n not have her have any idea that I was going to propose on this night. We we're celebrating Christmas at my parents' house. And so we even had a dealership all in as fake surprising my dad with a brand new truck. But that's because to throw her off of the real surprise was proposing to her. Oh my gosh. And so I, by our lake, I had an arch um, that's shaped like a photo frame out there. And so I, I brought her out to it and I had a, a bench with a lot of stuff carved into it. Of, uh, and then I got on my knee and shared with her. And we have a special song um, called The Wedding Song by a South African artist. She's from South Africa yeah. called The Wedding Song and um, by Matthew Mole. And... Um, uh, I get on my knee and I propose and everything and then I was like, this would be a perfect time to listen to the song. I hit play on it and so we're dancing to it and then he comes from behind the arch and starts singing it in real life. And so she was shocked by that. That is unbelievable. It was. That was so cool. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you. That, everyone's so jealous of you right now. Oh my God. But then while we're, while we're dancing, I have another sign where her, her whole family's in South Africa and they come out and she's behind them. And then I say, I have another surprise and turn her around and her family's there. Oh my gosh. And then we do it again with their best friends. And so oh it was just a, an amazing celebration. Wow, that it is the so way cool. to do it right there. Here's a picture of you guys right there looking gorgeous. Ew, oh my god, look at that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> hey oh wow. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful ring. I heard you had a I heard you had a good line when you gave her the ring. Well, I, you know, I, I heard there I had to find a diamond in South Africa because she's my South African diamond. And so then I heard there was such a thing as an internally flawless diamond. So then I was like, shoot, now I'm paying even more, but I got to get an internally flawless diamond. Internally. So, um, so yeah, when I gave it to her, I told her this is internally flawless just like you because that's how I see her. So. Oh, my gosh. You, you're crushing. You're killing us here. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> let's, let's get to the, uh, the, the tough guy side of you, of Tim Tebow. Perfect. Uh, you are about to start, uh, right, with the, uh, the, the baseball starting yes. up soon. When? Yeah, like two days. Really? Yes. Now, where are you going? You're going spring, to... spring training it starts in two days in Port St. Lucie, Florida. In Port St. Oh, yes. wow, so it's, it's happening. It is. Thank you so much for coming on the I'm show. I'm glad are to you be here. In always. training mode right now? I mean, always. So, are you just eating like what, just like boiled chicken and broccoli? And that's like just. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's all yeah, you eat. Every yeah. day, boiled chicken and broccoli. Are you going to do it this year? Are you going to go to the Mets? Are you going to go up to the Mets this year? I, I hope we... so. That's the goal and the dream. It'd be awesome. But you got to do me a favor. Yeah. My first game here in New York, if it happens, you got to be there. Of course I'll be there. Are you kidding me? I'll be Let's there. Let's go, man. Never do it. I've been there for this year. Do it. Let's go. Do it, man. I was, I'm, we're always rooting for you. We Thank love you, you. Buddy. But dude, last year you almost did it, and then you had like an injury with yeah, your I hand. I broke my hand. Yeah. That kind of hurts sometimes. That kind of hurts. Yeah. But this is you come back harder. We got to. You got to. Yes. Tim Tebow, come on. Let's go. We love it. <laughs> every week, uh, uh, every day this week, we're, we're shining a little light on our, uh, some of our favorite uh, charities that we've been close to throughout the years on our show. And I know you do an amazing uh, amount of work, uh, but one of the things you do is uh, Night to Shine. Yeah. Night to Shine. And you want to tell everyone what that is? Yeah, so Night to Shine is a worldwide prompt for people with special needs. And this year was our fifth year hosting it. And we had 655 proms around the world in 24 countries with over 200,000 volunteers. And we crowned over 100,000 people uh, with special needs as a king or a queen of the prom. And it was truly amazing. And it's, it's my favorite night. Of the year. I mean, that's 200,000 people? 200,000 volunteers. <laughs> volunteers? Yes. That is, un that is yeah, amazing. It was. And, and you have, I know at these events, these prom events, you have a red carpet. Yes, what? every one of them. They have to have a red carpet. Why because, is that? Well, in today's society, red carpets, um, they signify excellence, they signify meaning, they signify VIP. And um, on this night, and in my eyes, and I believe in God's eyes, they are the VIPs. They're important. And so we walk, a, walk them down a red carpet, and we crown them. We have fake paparazzi on both sides because we want to celebrate them. You know, we know what it's like to be celebrated, but a lot of times they've never been celebrated. They've never been cheered for. And to, to be able to throw a prom where they're the king, they're the queen, they're celebrated, they're loved. You know, I believe that it changes someone, someone's identity when they believe that they're important, that they're valued, that they're loved, and that they're special. And, and there's a reason for them being here. And so I want them to feel that way. Wow. How great is that? I mean, it's... Uh, 
What is, the, what is the website if anyone wants to go to donate or help Tim out? TimTebowFoundation.org. TimTebowFoundation.org. Yeah. Just yeah. go and check it out and just see what you can do. Uh, or donate or volunteer. It is really the coolest thing Thank that you, you do, and I, I really, I, that we love you for doing that. Thank you. Uh, uh, now, tell me about this movie that you're doing. Yes. You're producing a movie? You're yes, producing I am. With yeah. your brother? Yes, I am with my brother. It's a movie called Run the Race, and it's a story about um, two brothers, and there's some parallels to me and my brother in this, and just encouraging one another, and um, their mom passes away, and their dad's an alcoholic, so it's a little bit of a broken family, but they're on this journey together, and they support one another, and then, you know, they have different people that speak into their life and encourage them, and you know, it's a, it's a real-life, gritty movie, but hopefully young people can watch it and, and walk away encouraged and inspired because there are so many things that, um, that are hard for young people right now. And I wanted to make something that would be encouraging and inspiring so they would be able to know that life's not going to be perfect and it's not going to be easy, but they can get through the obstacles and they can get through it together with love, with support, with faith and believing in one another and, and that loyalty and that bond. And that's why it meant so much to me to make this movie. That's great. You can do it. Run the race. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.